On this episode, we talk about how to dress for work and play, denim shorts, are they booking good or book off, and how to dress for a job interview. Hi guys, how's it going? I'm Jack. Hello, I'm Jessica. And welcome to episode two of What the Book. Tim, what's happened? Unfortunately, we had to get rid of Tim. Now, this is a guy... You look you... great, Oh, thank Tim. you, darling. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thanks, I've had my hair done. Um, we're going to show you the reason why we've got rid of Tim. Yeah. And gentlemen, if you guys are a Tim, all the girls are going to get rid of you. Trust mm. me on this one. Tim, come here. Tim, come, come on. <laughs> what have you done? What have I done? What have I done wrong? Right. He's back. He's back. <laughs> Soon to go, trust me. This yeah. is what Tim's done. Excuse me. <laughs> it's all that kind of show, so. Birkenstocks. Gentlemen, trust it's me. It's a hot day. What the book, Tim? It's been hot and a bit. Tim, leave. <laughs> leave now. Seriously. So he's got, you won't see him again. And Birkenstocks, guys, if, if you want to pull the fullies, fullies? If you want to pull the fullies, the follies or the fillies or the ladies, <laughs> the ladies don't wear them. Yeah, don't. It's not good. So, Jess, Ica. Yes. Let's get on with the show. Okay, Jack. Episode two. We've got three questions for you. Shall we begin? Let's do it. Let's go. At Stephen Dixon TV from Twitter asks, hashtag what the book. I have to dress smart for work, so how do I dress smartly on other occasions without looking like I'm going to work? Well, firstly, let me say hello to Stephen from Sky News. We have a celebrity asking us questions. Yes, we've made it. What the book is now famous all, all over the world. Question. Yes. What can you do? I think the most important thing to look at here is your colour palette. I 100% agree. Um, from work to play, two different tones, two sets of colours. Yeah, you've got, you've got your greys, you've got your browns, mm -hmm. blacks in the office. Play mode is a little bit more playful. You can yeah. go with different colours. You've got reds, you've got oranges, you've got a rainbow of colours to go for. <laughs> you don't want to be dressed like a rainbow. No, you can't, on this no. One. Unless you're looking for a pot of gold, then definitely always go rainbow coloured. Um, green, green's nice though. Green does work. You know, I'm partial to a bit of green. Yeah, I know. Uh, not that kind of green. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Only a it's not that kind of show. It's not that kind of show. But no, I think colour is important. I think you can afford to wear the same things you do for work, adding a splash of colour will yeah. completely flip it on its head. Whether that's through the accessories, whether it's through your footwear, even a jumper, you've got a lot to play with. Yeah, also as well, like if you wear a shirt to work, um, dress it up with like a smart jacket. If you wear a shirt outside of work, dress it down with a jumper over the shoulders. It's still gonna look very smart, but very, very yeah. casual. You don't have to, ultimately you don't have to wear a shirt to, to dress up and look good. I think there's a lot of guys out there that think you have to. The best thing you can do is start with a blazer. Yeah. You, re you really can. It's, the, it's the, the easiest thing to do is it keeps your silhouette, it keeps you looking trim. What you put under there is totally up to you with whatever colours you want. Some nipple tassels look great under there. Yeah, your eyes only. I'm not here to judge. So, <laughs> Jess, what else can we do? Anything or are we good? Nothing, we're good. Um, so work mode, keep the colours quite, you know, formal, outside, quite playful and always yep. accessorise. Good. Yeah, done. Question one. <laughs> Boom. Making dreams come true. Next question, let's go. Chris Edwards from Twitter asks, hashtag what the book, denim shorts on men acceptable? If so, maximum and minimum length. Great question. It's a great question because a lot of people, a lot of men think about this because I know I think about it sometimes. I have my opinions, but you don't really care what I think. We, we always think about the women and what do they think. So Jess, Well, to be, on, sorry, to be honest, I am a fan of denim shorts. I love them, especially short shorts. However, double denim, if you're over 40, tragic. You do not go there. But also as well, I think when you're wearing a pair of shorts, Never, ever, ever wear anything past the knee because are you wearing pedal pushes? Are you wearing cat dyes? Are these yeah. even classed as a short? Are these just short pants? Have you got the wrong size pants on? Who knows? Yeah. Um, so yeah, and also, when you're thinking about wearing shorts, dress weather appropriate and for your leg shape, you come up with some really good points. Yeah, body shape's important, guys. So if you're a short guy, you know, not great with height, a la me. Jack's not. <laughs> I get it in there before she did. Um, you can afford to get a shorter length because it kind of elongates the legs, which mm -hmm. is always good. If you're a taller guy, you can get away with a slightly sort of deeper short. You've got great legs, the long, embrace them. To be fair, I like short shorts on tall men as well. I like short shorts on short men and short shorts on tall men. That's true, but you don't want bean poles, do you? 
Jack yeah, and the Beanstalk. Point. Valid point. Yeah, so, and the other thing to bear in mind, guys, is colour. You don't have to wear blue. Denim, there's, there's all sorts out there. There's blacks, there's greys, there's dark blues. Yeah. So play around with it, see what suits you as well. You know, even white. If you've got a paler leg, you want to wear a warmer looking denim because that's gonna make your skin tone look warmer. If you're more tanned, you can get away with a deeper color and a cooler color. A cooler, that's not even a word. Um, it could a be. <laughs> cooler. Um, you can wear a cooler color denim because it's gonna really embrace your tan. So if you have got paler legs, make sure you just wear a color, yeah, like you said, compliment. I'm even gonna throw something in there. If you're going away on holiday as well, take two different tones with you. Wear one for the start of the holiday mm -hmm. and one for the end of it because you've usually got a tan by then. Top tip. Wayne Henry on email asks, hashtag what the book, what is the best thing to wear for my job interview? I work in the motor industry. Do I need to wear a suit? It's, it's a good question. It's a really good question, but also what you've got to bear in mind, Wayne, dress appropriately. I'm Wayne, what are you doing in the motor trade? Are we a sales director? Are we a mechanic? Because that will really depend on what you need to wear. I mean, you don't want to go there looking like a spanner. Or a tool. <laughs> Sorry. Edit that out, Chris. Um, no, I think it's important that you need to bear that in mind with when you go into a job interview. The last thing you want to do is be underdressed. That's the main point that you need to, to bear in mind with, with the whole question. Yeah. Is that if you go underdressed, you're going to look like you're not that interested and that you could take it or leave it, which is not a good impression. So always dress up. Always overdress, not underdress. I think as well, I think it's important that you go and you feel comfortable because when you go and you feel comfortable in the clothes you're wearing, as long as they look appropriate, you're going to be more confident in your interview. Mm -hmm. You're going to walk in there, know you've got the job and get it. Nail it. Nail it. Nail it. Also, do you have to wear a suit? Again, it depends if you're going for a sales role, customer service, admin, um, what the type of employer is looking for. Um, but no, I don't think you do have to wear a suit. I think you can go looking casual and still looking smart, a nice pair of shoes, yeah. a nice belt, a nice jacket. Just dress appropriately. It's, just, it's really that simple. Bear in mind the position. You know in yourself. Picture yourself in that role. What are you going to be wearing? Wear it for the interview. I mean, to be fair, you should have seen what Jack rocked up in the first time we interviewed him. <laughs> I don't know what I wore actually. So I can't <laughs> even. I, wasn't here. I can't even, yeah, shouldn't even work here. <laughs> but anyway. Are we are we good with that? Did we answer question three? Is he happy? Do you think he'll be happy going um, away? Do, yeah, I think he'll be happy. If you're not, tweet us again. We'll ask you can always question. send it again and we'll try and put it in next time, but we think we've answered it. <laughs> so, question three answered. Yep. One, two, three, episode two done. Thanks for watching. Hope you've lasted this long. Jess, thanks for joining. You're welcome. It's been a pleasure. Pleasure, I hope so. If you want to be on episode three, what do they do? All you need to do is hashtag what the fuck? Not in a high pitch if you don't want to. But yeah, if you speak to us on Twitter, on Facebook, Instagram, you can even email us. It's totally up to you and you can get featured. Simple as that. Hopefully you send us some in because if you don't, we don't have an episode three. And if you don't, then I'll send them in instead so we definitely do so I can stay in this job. Okay. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs>So guys, if you want to be involved in episode three. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a new presenter in town, do you mind? <laughs> Some people. <sighs> Jack. Episode three. If you want in, Jess, what are we doing? All you have to do is hashtag what the book via Twitter, Instagram, um, Facebook. Um, Facebook indeed. At Goodwin Smith UK is the handle. Or just drop us a comment below. Simple as that. Bye Tim.